What's going on? This is David Whitney with Alpha Hawk Fitness. All right, guys, right now I want to talk about something that's really a commonly held belief in the fitness world, and that's that raising insulin levels post-workout will help increase muscle protein synthesis, help initiate muscle protein synthesis. Now, while that's true in the super physiological levels, that's the unnatural levels, the levels where you know bodybuilders are injecting insulin, that can help initiate muscle protein synthesis, synthesis. but in the natural levels, like just ingesting, fast digesting carbs, no, it, it, it makes no difference at all. And I'm gonna link the studies below in the description box so you guys could check that out afterwards. But no, in, ingesting any carbohydrates with your protein shake have been shown in studies to have no effect at all on muscle protein synthesis. But increasing insulin levels does help with increasing muscle mass in a different way. Because see, there's two aspects to it. On the one hand, you have muscle protein synthesis where you're synthesizing new muscle and creating muscle in your body. On the other hand, you have muscle protein breakdown where your body is breaking down muscle that you already have. So these two things are going on at the same time. So in order to increase your muscle mass, you have to have the balance and the favor of muscle protein synthesis so that you're synthesizing more muscle than your body is breaking down. Now, insulin has been shown to inhibit muscle protein breakdown. But here's the thing. It only takes a very slight increase in insulin to cause these benefits of stopping muscle protein breakdown. And protein shakes increase insulin levels slightly, but we only need a slight increase to receive the benefits of inhibiting muscle protein breakdown. So long story short, all it takes is just a protein shake. You do not need carbs post-workout or with any um, protein consumption, consumption, any protein meal. You don't need carbs to go along with it in order to increase your insulin levels. The protein alone will be enough increase in insulin levels to inhibit muscle protein breakdown. And like I said, insulin, increasing insulin has no effect at all on initiating muscle protein synthesis. And like I said, I'm going to link the studies below in case you guys want to check that out. Stay tuned for future videos. I got a really good one I'm working on now and just putting all the studies together. It's about clean eating versus flexible dieting. And it's going to help free a lot of you guys from these very restrictive and crazy diets that you're on that you think you need to be on in order to be shredded. All right. Until next time.